In a recent Drive Tribe video, Richard and Mike came up to uh, the Lake District to find Richard's favourite driving road. And it turns out, I, I'm actually fairly close by at the moment. So I thought I'd head over and see what it was, see what all the fuss was about. And the road is the one that goes from Honest to Slate Mine down to Buttermere. And it's a lovely sort of sweeping road, with lots of turns, a massive descent, and then a beautiful lake at the bottom. So, I've covered my car and cameras, and we're going to come out and have a look and see what all the fuss is about. Welcome to Lawrence Plays With Cars. The route starts out in the bottom of the valley, amongst the fields outside Borrowdale Village. The MX-5 is the perfect car for these sort of roads. It's small and agile, so there's almost no chance of hitting a rock and getting a puncture, <clears throat> like a certain V8 Jaguar I could mention. I think a small convertible roadster like this is the perfect vehicle for exploring around here, but I will admit to a little bit of bias. Um, I am only slightly obsessed with MX-5s. This area shows off one of the two main types of scenery in the lakes. The bottoms of the valleys tend to be fairly flat and suitable for farming, but as I pass through Seatola village, we start to make our way out into the hills, and the fields turn into woodland as the scenery transitions into the wilder mountain terrain. The views aren't quite as spectacular in here, but there's still something wonderfully peaceful about driving through the woods. Even back home in Surrey, I can still find a few B-roads like this to enjoy. So after you pop out of the trees, you get this lovely vista across the uh, opening up in front of you, showing the view up the Honister Pass towards the slate mine at the top. But once, once we get over the top of it and he start to head down the other side, that's when the real magic begins. So, let's not hang around, let's get on up there. This open field with the hills rising around you is what I always think of when I picture the Lake District, probably because of the amount of time I've spent hiking in the mountains here. I love a nice hill climb like this. It feels like you can put your foot down and push the car a bit harder, knowing that if you realise you're going a bit too fast, you can just lift off and the hill will help to slow you down. This is a stunningly beautiful part of the country. Absolutely gorgeous. And to be honest, this road isn't there to be driven at high speed. It's here to enjoy the beauty of the um, of the of the rocks and the gullies, the valley, the generally the area around it. So you you can enjoy the well, maybe not the view of the slate mine right over there, but in general, the whole place is just absolutely beautiful. And so yeah, there's a big big long stretch we're about to hit where you need to go through it at about ooh, maybe 20, 30 miles an hour. Essentially, engine braking the whole way down in uh, in second. Gear. After the climb, I pass the slate mine and the decorations they've built outside it. The slate mine is now more museum than mine, and definitely worth a visit, even if they keep threatening to build a zip line and getting complaints from the locals. Now the view opens up in front of me giving me my first breathtaking glimpse of the second half of the pass, the valley widening in front of me as I start my descent. So this is fun to drive up, a little bit Heavy on the engine braking to go back down again, but you know, still pleasant. And look at those views!
I love this sort of road when everything's so open you can see everything that's going on in front of you. You can see the road might twist back and forth like a twisty turny thing but still you can see so far ahead of you that you can actually put your foot down a little bit. You can do a whole, well I'm doing 35 miles an hour now and it feels, I don't feel like I want to go faster but there's nothing, but I know that there's no traffic coming, at least right now. And if there was, I'd be able to clearly see it and I'd be able to slow down and take, and, uh, and, and deal with it as I approach it. Now here we've got a blind corner coming up, so I do need to slow down a little bit. But in general, it's just such an open, it's such an open road with such good visibility. There we go, as I say, a blind corner, but there's another car, it's fine. <laughs> um, but now I can see another couple of turns ahead of me again, so I can put my foot down a little bit. And as I was saying earlier, it's not about the speed. This road isn't isn't here to go fast down. It's to go. It's to cruise down at a, a sensible speed, somewhere probably somewhere in the 30s, as long as you don't get something stuck in front of you. And just to enjoy the scenery around us. Just look at it. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. I love the Lake District. It's a sort of a it feels like a sort of a miniature version of Scotland, and then Scotland, in turn, feels like a miniature version of Canada, particularly the bit of Canada in the Rockies. Yes, okay, the Canadian one might seem bigger and more impressive because you've got the massive, uh, massive mountains, the Rockies, rather than sort of the, uh, rather than just the Lake District, but you've got much, much, the roads are much wider because of it. There's something about these tiny, twisty, winding roads, it's just so much fun. It's just a shame that, well, it's, it's such a glorious day today that everybody is out, so it's a bit busy. But still, I mean, I've not seen, I've not had that much trouble with traffic on the way down here. I've, apart from getting stuck behind that orange um, crossover earlier, it's pretty good. Because now I'm coming down into Gatesgarth um, area, which is the, a, the south end of Buttermere. And this area does tend to be a bit busy because, um, well, again, there's an absolutely gorgeous lake that loads of people want to go and walk around and so on. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so you can go and see why it's so busy here, but it is a bit, <laughs> it's a bit much. Let's get out of that. As I leave the area around the farm, I crest a rise and suddenly the mere itself appears in front of me with a wonderful view out over the gorgeous blue water and the imposing hills on the other side. I can definitely see why there are quite so many people parking at Gatesgarth Farm to walk around it. It is a lovely walk. Buttermere is one of the smaller bodies of water in the Lake District, and so it's quite easy to walk around the whole thing in a couple of hours. And walking around a lake is pretty much guaranteed to be flat, more or less by definition. From here, the road continues, twisty and narrow, and the visibility is much worse due to the walls and the trees, so we'll have to slow down and pay a bit more attention to the oncoming traffic. But it's still light enough that the drive is very enjoyable, and of course the scenery never disappoints. Every so often I come up on gaps in the trees, giving me the more spectacular views down over the mere, and of course up on the hillside to my right. It feels so peaceful and calm around here that I'm honestly not even upset about being stuck behind another car. Having the camera on a stalk on the back of the car definitely helps with the views. Whilst you can happily see over the walls here, I'm stuck behind them as I drive along. Finally, the road drops down into Buttermere Village, beyond the head of Buttermere itself, and it's time for me to find somewhere to park and then head over to the pub for some food. I hope you've enjoyed this scenic tour through one of the many pretty parts of the UK. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this, and I'll see if I can go exploring. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.